This is Artifacts of Mars. And we're going to go over Curiosity Soul 613. This is one with uh, infamous selfie right here. I get to that get to that in a moment. Uh, Art Alien TV said he thought insects were uh, swarming this thing. And yes, there are specks up in the sky, but how do you make a determination that's an insect? You can't, because you can't be sure that, uh, this is something that's even flying. I, I can't make that determination. My, uh, my thinking is that we're looking at data dropouts, which... This is actually a fairly common thing with Mars photos. They have to travel a very long distance, and um, you know, so they just lose a little data here and there. That's probably what they are. If you notice, right around one of these. Uh, there's that pixelated distortion, so that happens too with uh, data dropouts. That's what I think it is. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. I think our alien TV meets well, but he uh, kind of missed out on a couple things. Anyway. Now we're going to look at the selfie part of this. I did some poking around the internet, and apparently what NASA does is they put down the mirror, and then the rover puts on the mirror, and then it takes photos from the mirror, and they stitch them together. How ingenious. A mirror. Duh! So that's that. So what do I see in this photo? I don't see anything really to stun, but there are a couple of interesting issues. Uh, some of these so-called rocks kind of look, put up the draw again, cooperate or not? There. I have a problem with that one. I have a major problem with that one because it looks like it, uh, looks like it's kind of square and more structural like. So I have a problem with those two. They would be typical of the artifacts I see in the photos. And then, right down here, take a look at this thing. <laughs> right there you have an artifact. No other sense of what's bought. You call that a rock? You gotta be insane to call that a rock. Not a rock. I don't know what it is. And again, right there, uh, it's got kind of that arch thing, not a rock, it's an artifact. And again, right there, there's definitely a few interesting things here. Okay, uh... There's more than a smattering of interesting objects in this photo. I'll show you another area that concerns me greatly. It's this one. 
lots of straight lines, lots of uh, right angles, lots of things that look like they were engineered, not just extruded from molten rock or whatever. So I'm thinking, yeah, there's... Art Alien TV got that right. Uh, there are some things in this photo. That don't look right. I'd be the last one to sit there and say that these are all rocks. No, they're not. Many of them are not. Many of them, most of them are, but many of them are not rocks. And now, since NASA has given us another, uh, shall we say, washed out photo, I'm going to tweak the contrast, I'm going to tweak the brightness. Brightness I'll be bring down, and contrast I'll bring up. You see this greenish coloring everywhere? That's like that mossy growth that I'm seeing all over the place in these photos. I haven't, for the most part, I haven't seen anything large, but uh, I do see this mossy growth. And it's everywhere, it seems like. I've nicknamed it, I don't know if this is Terra Inducal Minimus or not. That's why I nicknamed the ground cover that I keep seeing. It's all over in this photo and you can't miss it. I mean, it's like a pale green. Now, when you look at, uh, um, like a grassy area, It'll look fuzzy to you in any photo, not just a Mars photo. Why is that? Because you're seeing hundreds of small plant parts and uh, the camera and our eyes simply can't distinguish from between all of them. That's the thing right there is we're probably looking, I'd say we're looking at a very light mossy ground cover. As for the things up in the air, probably data dropouts. That's what they look like. Seem to be little uh, crosses underneath. You probably may not even be able to see. It's not cross, it's like pixelation. I'm thinking these are data dropouts. Or dust particles. But they'll sit there and call them insects. No, I can't do that because I can't make anything out. Insects have a specific characteristics. Six legs in their adult stage, head, thorax, abdomen, antennae, so on. You gotta be able to make that out before you uh, make any real pronouncement about what they are, because that's a specific thing. Well, that's about it. Uh, some interesting things in this. You know, some you need to be a little more cautious. I'm not saying that I believe NASA. Heaven's no. I haven't believed NASA for a long time. I, but I, what I am saying is there are things in the photo that you gotta be real careful before you identify any uh, specific type of life form like see a plant like uh, insect, a plant that's much more generalized. I can call it mossy growth because it kind of conforms with what we're seeing. But I don't know that's 
a moss in earth terms. You see what I'm saying? There are plants in the photos. There's no question in that. They may not be exactly like they are on Earth. In fact, they're uh, DNA's got to be different, and their photosynthetic properties are probably different, and so on. I'd say there are some anomalies in this photo. It's a pretty good one. Overall. One last thing before I go. Let's take a look at this. Is that weird or what? That ain't no rock. There's some definitely some manufactured parts here. You don't tell me that form naturally? No, I don't think so. So this is Artifacts of Mars signing off. Thanks for watching. Remember, NASA is not telling you the truth. I'm sorry if that upsets a few of you, but it's the way it is. And I certainly agree with Art Alien TV. It got me on this. That uh, there are some things there that aren't right. Definitely. Definitely some anomalies, definitely some artifacts, and plant life at least. Some kind of mossy type growth. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.